court. The main issue today with regards to the situation of the Gaza Strip is you know how you get in, but you don't know how to get out. And you see America has the same problem in Iraq. Um, Israel withdrew from Gaza, whether you like it or you don't, but with the full intention never to have to go back. And today with the thousands of rockets that have been fired since 2005 and the close to 80 just this past week, um, you know, the, the possibility of a, of a military operation is becoming real again. Um, now some people say you have to go in, you have to cut up Gaza, split it into three, go house to house, door to door, kill terrorists, destroy infrastructure, and wipe out Hamas. First of all, that's a little lofty because I don't think we can eradicate Hamas. We didn't succeed in eradicating his blood. We can definitely weaken Hamas. But even if we do, what happens next, right? Do you pull out, create a vacuum again? Who fills the vacuum? It's not going to be some good guy. It never happens. And Abbas doesn't have the political clout to take over the West Bank, uh, the Gaza Strip. He can barely hold out to the West Bank. So what's, what do you do? Right? So that, that, that just shows, that's, that, that is, that's why I say Hamas is very, very, the Gaza Strip today is very complicated.